welcome all of you in the channel the lois mantra today i am going to discuss a topic from ncert class 9 political science the name of the chapter is democracy in the contemporary world before starting the topic i want to tell one thing if you like this video please subscribe my channel the lois mantra and like this video and don't forget to share the video actually uh, democracy in the contemporary world it means uh, the democratic rules uh, in the present day in various parts of the world at the very beginning of the chapter they are uh, it is mentioned there two tales of democracy means about democracy there are two tales mentioned in this uh, first part of the chapter so before uh, starting the discussion we should come to know what is democracy the democracy is a rule uh, is a system of governance which is uh which is the basis of the people's opinion so at first we should uh, tell about a story taken from chile in the first page there is a speech had uh, given by the uh, president of chile which was given by salvador allende and he was the then president of chile a country in the south america in the south america there is a country named chile he had given a speech on the morning of 11 september 1973 on which the government the democratic government was overthrown by the military the Allen uh, was the leader of Socialist Party of Chile led the popular unity of coalition to victory the presidential election in 1970 the presidential election which was uh, held in Chile in the year 1970 uh, the election had won by the Socialist Party and when uh, Salvador Allen D uh, being elected as the president of chile he had uh, after uh, chosen as a president of chile he had taken several policies decisions to help the poor and workers he was usually very good uh, and he had taken very various decision to the to help the poor people and workers in the country chile and this policies was uh, was uh, oyer free milk for children and redistribution of land to the landless farmers he had given free milk for the children and uh, he had uh, distributed again the land to the farmers and uh, as a president he was opposed to foreign companies taking any natural resources like copper from the country he was he was very much uh, uh, restricted uh, to to uh, on the matter of natural resources uh, that uh, he should uh, send natural resources to the foreign countries the landlords the rich the charge opposed his policies various uh, various sections means re- rich charge Uh, they had oppo- they opposed the policies taken by the salvador the president salvador allende and what was uh, happened on 11 september 1973 on the morning 11 september 1973 the military took over the sub- seaport and the defense defense minister was arrested by the military when he arrived at his office when the defense defense minister arrived in his office he was arrested by the military uh, at the time uh, 
the military commanders asked the president to resign and when Alan Day refused to resign uh, but he realized the danger to the country and to his life he addressed to the people on the radio part of which we read in the beginning and uh, Salvador Alan Day, uh, came to understand that uh, there was a danger uh, in his country and to his life the, then the military surrounded the president's house and started bombing. And um, the president Alan Day was uh, died in the military, military attack. And this was the sacrifice he was taking about in his last speech. So in Chile, uh, the, the government which was elected by the people was overthrown by the military through conspiracy and violence so whatever what we say that this was a military coup and um, on 11 september 1973 was a military coup it was a military coup general augusto pinochet uh, an army general led the coup the uh, actually the government of united states of america was unhappy with allende's rule and is known to have supported and funded activities that led to the coup means the united states of america had supported to the coup and pinochet became the president of the country and ruled over 17 years next 17 years from a government that was elected by the people the power shifted to the the power shifted to the uh, the power shifted to the military officers they could do as they wished and no one could question them the the then president uh, then uh, augusto pinochet had done anything he wanted thus a military dictatorship was established in chile pinochet's government tortured and killed several of those who supported alande and those who wanted democ democracy to be restored uh, uh, during the rule of augusto Pinochet, the people who supported democracy and who was against uh, against him, uh, they were punished severely. Uh, these people included Alberto Bachelet of the Chilean Air Force and many other officers who refused to join the coup. And General Bachelet's wife and daughter were put in prison and tortured after. Uh, after uh, Pinochet, after Salvador Allende's death, uh, General Bachelet's wife and daughter was put in prison, and they were tortured by uh, Augusto Pinochet. Augusto Pinochet. More than three thousand people were killed by the military. Many more were reported missing uh, during the rule of Augusto Pinochet. You can see that uh, in the picture showing on your skin. Then after that, how democracy restored in Chile? After long 17 years, Pinochet's military dictatorship came to an end after a decided hold a referendum in 1988. He thought that the uh, people will say yes with his decision. But the people of Chile had not forgotten their democratic traditions. Their vote was a decisive no to Pinochet. The people were, uh, did not give any vote to Pinochet. This led to Pinochet's losting his first political life and then his military powers. The hope of Alan Day expressed in his last address was realized felony, cowardice and treason were finally punished. Means the people who uh, who are not uh, in the sight of democracy they will be punished which was according to uh, President Salvador Alan Day. Political freedom was restored. Since the then Chile was held four presidential elections in which different political parties have participated and slowly army's rule in the country government has been eliminated. The elected government that came to power ordered inquiries into Pinochet's rule. Then we should know that General Bachelet's daughter who was imprisoned and tortured along with his mother, that girl Michelle Bachelet 
was elected president of Chile in January 2006. Um, he, she was a medical doctor and a moderate socialist. Mm. Uh, Mitchell became the first woman to be the defense minister of Latin America. In the, presiden in the presidential election, she defeated uh, the Chile's richest man. In this photograph of her victory speech, she was saying to her supporters. So, what do we uh, know uh, after reading this uh, first uh, part of the this chapter? Means when uh, in Chile uh, by the uh, Augusto Pinochet, the, he uh, there was a military coup in Chile in 1973. And uh, the then president Salvador Allende was uh, killed by the military, and they took the rule on their hand, and they did whatever they want. But and uh, during his rule, he had given punish severe punishment to the common people. More than three hundred people were killed, and many were missing. And lastly, it was the time of democracy and then in the 1988 when referendum was issued by the president uh, Augusto Pinochet once again democracy restored in Chile so in modern democracy uh, democracy in modern time democracy is the basis of um, governmental system so this is the end of the first topic means the military cope in till 1973 if you like this video please subscribe my channel please like my video and don't forget to share the video thank you